The genocide continues as the world looks on. I'm Brian Lilly with Rebel.media. It was two years ago today, August 3rd, 2014, that the genocide against the Yazidi people of northern Iraq began. The Islamic State moved in and took the village of Sinjar. According to estimates, it ranges up to 5,000 people were killed, mostly men. Thousands have gone missing in that time and an entire population displaced. The Yazidis of northern Iraq in the province of Nineveh, maybe you remember the name Nineveh from biblical history, Nineveh is where Jonah was supposed to go and warn people to turn towards God, and instead he ran away and ended up in the whale. Perhaps you remember that story. Well, the people in Nineveh now, many of them are Yazidis. This is an ethno and religious subpopulation of Kurds. They stand apart. They are ethnically Kurds, but they are religiously Yazidis. And that is a different group than the rest of the Kurds. They worship God in a different way. And to the Islamic State, that makes them infidels worthy of being killed. So estimates are as many as 5,000 killed, thousands displaced, many of them, many of them taken into sexual slavery by Islamic State fighters. According to some reports, they even have their own smartphone apps that allow them to trade sex slaves using smartphones. They can trade for money, they can trade for the type of sex slave that they want, all of this going on, and the world is standing by. Now, there is an international coalition. Canada is slightly part of it. The United States is ostensibly leading it. But how have the world's mightiest militaries not crushed the Islamic State in the last two years? How have they not stopped this genocide against the Yazidis? That is a major question one that we don't have answers for, unfortunately, but the genocide continues. Now, the Liberal government here in Ottawa has refused to acknowledge genocide for anyone until the United Nations says so. So at the end of June, they acknowledged that there was a genocide going on for Yazidis, but they have still yet to acknowledge that there's also genocide going on for the Christians of northern Iraq, for the Shia Muslims throughout Iraq. All of this is happening in territories in Syria and Iraq controlled by ISIS. But the government continues to deny it because the United Nations has not given them the green light to say this is a, a cleansing of people based on their ethnic or religious origin. We know what's happening. There have been report after report to document this, and yet they continue to deny it. They are the new deniers. We're going to ask you to go to our petition again, deniers.ca, and try and send a message to Justin Trudeau and the Liberals calling on them to not only acknowledge that there's a genocide happening, but also to do something about it. Two years ago, Sinjar was taken by Islamic State. People fled into the mountains. Some died due to a lack of water, due to a lack of food, as they sat waiting for the world to respond. And instead, the world fiddled. The world didn't know what to do. The, world, the, the civilized world stood by and watched. And for the most part, that's what continues to happen as ISIS continues to control these territories, as ISIS continues to inflict rape as a weapon of war, as they continue to try and breed out the Yazidis. That is part of why they are using the women, the young women of the Yazidi culture as sex slaves. It's what they're doing with Christians. It's what they're doing with Shia Muslims. The men are killed. The women become sex slaves so that they can breed them out and make sure they don't exist in the future. Is the world ready to stand by and say never again when it comes to Holocaust Memorial Day, when it comes to Remembrance Day, and yet do nothing for this? Two years is a solemn reminder that the world needs to stand up and act. The world needs to take action to make sure that when we say never again, it means now. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.